Hello everyone, Mark here with Mark's Max Muscle, and welcome to the very first ever Tidbit of the Week. Now this is basically just little tidbits of information that I stumbled upon involving bodybuilding that I found amusing or ironic or just, well, neat. Anyway, depending on how the first few go, I will keep on going with these, but I'll be releasing one a week. That's why it's called the Tidbit of the Week. Anyway. This first one concerns Ronnie Coleman, and you may notice this is the placings of the 1994 Mr. Olympia event, and Ronnie Coleman is way down there in the 15th position. Of course, this was when everyone and their uncle was placing ahead of Ronnie Coleman, and a lot of people boast about that. I mean, look, of course, Sean Ray, Kevin Lavrone, Dorian Yates, obviously. Paul DeLed, I mean, Porter Cottrell placed ahead. Chris Cormier, of course, Nessar Somebody, Charles Claremont, there's a guy who can claim victory over Ronnie Coleman. Andreas Munzer, Sonny Schmidt. I mean, Aaron Baker beat Ronnie Coleman. Thierry Pestel, little Thierry beat Ronnie Coleman. Anyway, where am I headed with this? If you'll notice, way down there at the bottom, almost straight down, scraping to the second to the last position. There stands Gunther Schlierkampf. Here's the only picture I could find of the guy in this event. And of course, as everybody in their dog was boasting victory over Ronnie Coleman, poor Gunther, poor Gunther, one of the few famous guys in the 90s and early 2000s that couldn't even beat Ronnie back in the heyday, or back in Ronnie's worst, worst days, his beginnings. So... Let's fast forward to when Ronnie Coleman won the title in 1998, the Olympia title. And still, if you notice, look who placed dead last this time. Gunther Schlierkampf. So, of course, here on in, none of those guys, the Flex Wheelers, the Nessars, the, the Kevin Lavrones, the Sean Rays, Chris Cormier, no one, no one ever placed ahead of Ronnie Coleman. None of these guys. It wasn't until, of course, Jay Cutler. But anyway, poor Gunter way down at the bottom. So in retrospect, Gunter would be the last man ever that anyone would think would be able to knock off Ronnie Coleman once he got a head of steam. And ladies and gentlemen, have a look at this dominance. Here in 99 to 2005, just win after win after win. 2000, 2001, 2002. Oh, oh. Did you know Ronnie Coleman lost in 2002? Of course, most of you do, because I have a very intelligent audience. But for those of you who didn't realize, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. The Mr. Olympia champion lost. Now, what great champion beat Ronnie in the midst of his dominant reign as Olympia champion? Why, is it Chris Cormier? No. Why, is it Kevin Lavrone? Sean Ray? Who? Oh, looky, looky, Gunther Schlierkampf. This is incredible. Gunther should have been really, really praised for this. I mean, come on, ladies and gentlemen, the only man in history to be able to beat Ronnie Coleman in the midst of his dominance. It's just a very impressive feat, I believe. So, since this is the very first tidbit of the week, I'm going to throw a bonus in here. This actually happened once before. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Arnold beat Sergio Oliva back in 69 when Sergio was the current Olympia champion. And if you ask me, there is just a startling similarity between these four gentlemen. Very interesting. Interesting indeed. Anyway, that's pretty much the gist of the tidbit of the week. And this one went a little extra longer because it's the, the very first one. So I can expect these videos to run maybe for a minute and a half to two minutes. So I hope you enjoyed it and look forward to the next one. Have a good day.